Auto gamers, how's it going? I have my window open, and my camera handles light, like someone having a very severe acid trip. So, I'm gonna look majestic as fuck. Regardless, though, what I wanted to talk about is the tips, and primarily one main thing to give advice for small streamers. So, I think a lot of people, especially in the day and age of Twitch, I would say that I actually see more people want to start streaming than they want to start making YouTube videos. And I feel like the reason is, is because streaming is a, a lot simpler if you want to do it, right? I think the setup's way easier, the amount of interaction we get with other people is way more, you get to interact directly with the people who want to watch your shit. And also, as long as you're an entertaining person, you've got a good game to play, which actually isn't as hard as it sounds. Or if you're not as entertaining, you'll be more skilled at the game. Um, and you hit the search streaming button, you in turn can find success. But the issue is, is that you almost have to start on YouTube. It's not a fucking option, really. Unless you already have a pre-established audience somewhere else. And I feel like so many people have came to me and have, and I've tried to help them out with like, hey, this is how to make your YouTube stuff better. This is how I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, that way I can learn part two. And it's like, also, I think it's things you can improve on. But I've had people be like, hey, I'm a small streamer, and I hit start streaming a lot, and I have zero viewers. And I have to kind of explain to them that they're fucked, right? Um, there's quite literally nothing you can do, so that way you can start developing an audience with zero viewers on Twitch if you've been consistently getting zero viewers. Because what you have to do is you have to have an insane amount of skill, and then that way it can get you the start, or you have to have this pre-established audience somewhere else. Because if you look at why someone would watch your stream, even if you're doing everything right, you have fine audio quality, your webcam's fine, your game recording is fine, everything is, like, quality-wise is fine, um, you're even an entertaining person, and it's a dog-eat-ass world. There are hundreds of other people for them to watch, and they have better reasons. So I feel like Twitch, it's almost like the soul search to figure out oh, this is what you have to do to get your to get the next step forward, right? But, the, but to get that initial step, you can't just do. It's, it's not like something like on YouTube, you can not worry about your audience and you can try to make every video better than the last. And naturally you will develop an audience just because with good quality comes an audience, right? It's not like Twitch where everyone just gravitates towards the most popular things. People, there's a way larger audience on YouTube and the YouTube algorithm in itself tends to promote variety because you watch such similar things all the time that it'll just so happen to trickle down to the people like myself who actually don't have near as large as an audience as someone like some ordinary gamers or critical which are probably the channels most similar to what i do but with twitch no one fucking cares right you can get zero viewers and even if you're making really good content and everything you're doing right there's no fucking reason for anyone to watch you right you don't have this algorithm that's going to randomly promote you need you need that initial step of word of mouth and this actually used to be a thing on youtube i don't think a lot of people are going to remember this because this was honestly like in the late 2000s right but there was this con there was this thing where it's like oh if you want to gain an audience on youtube you have to have something go viral right that it's just almost like how i had my channel start uh, as much of a meme as that is but used back in the day there was this old saying that if you want to have an audience on youtube and this was before youtube even fucking paid anything before anyone even made any money you want to gain an audience and you want to get attention for what you do then you have to have a video go viral because that's the immediate jump start but the thing about twitch is that there's not really this direct thing of that jump start you need to have something to jumpstart your channel. And I feel like, and I really wish way more people were able to try to figure out what that is. Because I feel like they'll be like, oh, maybe I need to make my stream labs look better. Maybe I need to make my camera look better. Maybe my mic needs to be better. Maybe I'm not good enough at the game. They try to have all these fucking reasons that would be great to focus on if you had that jumpstart. But until you have that jumpstart, no one gives a shit. I feel like I should also say like some things you can do to jumpstart it because I feel like not enough people want to talk about this and something you can do to jumpstart your channel is get really good at the game you're playing and I'm saying like oh fuck having fun right you can still be an entertaining person you need to fucking bite the bullet and start grinding the shit out of the game and get really good. I feel like almost anyone has the capability to get to the highest rank in any game. You may need to work on things mentally, because I think the mental game is by far the most important part, but it's not even like a traditional thing though. You can be depressed and anxious as shit and still get like global lead in CSGO. Or 
you can gain an audience elsewhere. And this is honestly the most common thing and the by far the best thing you can do. Um, the getting good at a game part is actually really difficult. But getting an audience elsewhere and then transitioning into doing streaming on top of that is by far what I would recommend most people to do. Because there's this thing, which is kind of like what I was doing, right? Because I've just now gained, I think, enough of a YouTube audience where I can search. I'm sorry, I really wanted to get this out there. So I feel like not a lot of people talk about it. I'm like trying to hyper focus in on like that jumpstart you initially need for your Twitch channel. And that a lot of people think that the higher quality you make things can actually develop an audience because that's actually bullshit. I think a lot of bigger streamers will say that because they've had a massive disconnect, right? I hyper focused on that for hundreds and hundreds of hours and I found literally zero success at all. And then I just started focusing on youtube and now i found an audience on twitch right and i get that this isn't true for everyone it's just i have spent a lot of time in like the zero to five viewer type twitch streams so i feel like and i've also done it myself a lot so i feel like i know a fair bit honestly the bigger a streamer gets you would think they're more of an authority on it but in reality they just become more and more disconnected from it i think the only person who had a genuine opinion that was actually fucking reasonable was general sam now i stopped streaming i before he initially said this he isn't the reason i started doing this but i'm really glad that someone like him said has said stuff about this because i feel like way more people need to fucking know that n no one gives a shit about zero to five viewer twitch streamers and essentially dead stuff and this is something he brought up which is a great point it's that it is depressing as shit it's so depressing to sit there and do something on twitch which is entirely based around your interactivity with the chat or a community and there to be no one there is some of the most depressing shit you can ever fucking do and it about drove me mad but at least on youtube you can focus on making your videos better and better and that in turn will attract an audience whereas on twitch that won't and i'm not saying for twitch to change either i quite like that twitch works this way um, because it reminds me of a lot of what you had to do in old YouTube that's now dead because everything's fucking determined by Susan's pussy just algorithm and it's a fucking lottery. I got lucky, right? I don't, but that almost feels shitty to say, right? Because even if you work really hard, there's always going to be this part where it's like, oh, I still got lucky. And even with Twitch, but it's like a much more natural luck. It's based around people. When it's based around a computer algorithm and you get lucky, it almost devalues your hard work. And that doesn't feel as good. Like if you make it on Twitch, it's almost entirely to thank for, for yourself. A lot of it isn't even luck. But, and that's in turn not true because, oh, I got lucky on YouTube, so therefore I got a Twitch audience. But still, it feels much more genuine. Whereas on YouTube, I, I don't even, even though I worked really hard, I feel like a lot of it's to thank for some YouTube computer algorithm. And it's not actually anyone else's hard work. So, regardless, I've been rambling for a long goddamn time. I think I may have talked in circles a little bit in this video. Um, this was very unplanned, and I looked at the timer and was like, oh god, I've only been recording for four minutes. I feel like I've talked about the same thing over and over again. But now even five minutes randomly passed, so hopefully this video is okay. <laughs> so I feel like I really wanted to say this. I'm going to stream for a couple hours today. As soon as this video uh, gets uploaded, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash Jones. I'll have it linked in the description. Regardless, have a good one.